Hi, Scott Lackman, 4510 TV. Uh, today's program viewers, we want to do a feature on one of our local businesses, Caboolture Cruise and Travel, and with the owner, Robert Adams. G'day, Robert. Good morning. Thank you, Scott, for coming in. No worries. Um, now, Rob, uh, you're in the Caboolture Park Shopping Centre, which is on King Street, Caboolture, but you're in a new, uh, new location with the shop. Tell us about that. That's right. Um, over, just over 12 months ago now, we moved into our lo new location and we were down at the other entrance, which they closed off because they spent $18 million on the centre yep. and we were part of the upgrade of that. So that's why we've got our new location and a, a totally new office. So we're really excited about it. The only thing we brought from the old one was our computers and our phones and the safe and that was it and everything else is brand new. Yeah, no, very exciting. And, um, and Robert, you've been in the travel game, um, tell the viewers, 20 plus years. <laughs> I've been in the travel game since I was 16, so I've covered uh, all aspects of travel. I started off in the coach industry, and then I moved into the airline industry, and then we have our own travel agency. My wife and I own the agency. We're an independent agent, so we, uh, we're responsible for our own future, and we've been trading here. We're coming up to our 23rd year in Caboolture. Wow, congratulations. And, um, and yeah, the new premises, the new shop, um, it does look good and it's busy this morning with a few customers booking holidays. So um, let's roll into our interview because what I want to feature is um, what you've got on offer for our, for our local residents. Um, we're, we're only a month shy of Christmas. Um, is, there, is there any specials that you want to offer today? Um, well, there is always a lot of specials out. Christmas is extremely busy for us. Uh, a lot of people book early for Christmas and the secret of getting the best price uh, for where you're going is to book early. Um, there is still some uh, availability though in the South Pacific, the islands, and limited availability on cruises. Next year is going to be another big year. We're finding because of the Australian dollar that um, South America is becoming very popular as well as South Africa and the Pacific Islands and Asia. So we're, uh, we're excited about that. And Europe's slowly starting to pick up, and so is America. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes in the next 12 months. Yeah, it uh, sounds like a world trip uh, you know, over the next 12 months, 2016. Um, and it's great that, um, that you know, maybe these other locations are, are becoming popular on, on, the, on the tourist map. Uh, that's right. Uh, what we are, we, we're members of what we call a, a two organisations, Cruise Co and Worldwide Cruising. And with those uh, organisations, they offer exclusive offers in relation to cruise air packages with accommodations. So you can fly into Europe, have a few nights before you board the ship in, say, Rome and get off in uh, Barcelona. And it's been a new way of people seeing Europe. Uh, and we have a lot of uh, exclusive product that we can offer to our clients. We also produce a quarterly magazine called The Bridge. Now with that, that gives you information about port destinations, it gives you information about new cruise, ship coming, cruise ships coming on board, and uh, we also feature a few packages in there which are good value offers. Yeah, excellent. Um, and we see uh, in the news um, they're saying that cruising is, is uh, the top trending um, uh, holiday uh, in the future. What, you know, I've been on a few cruises and, and it's, it's absolutely great, but uh, what do you think about the cruise industry? Well, uh, it is a growing industry and of course um, with the new ships coming on board, they've actually upgraded a lot of the cruise ships, even out of Brisbane now. We're seeing Royal Caribbean cruises staying to operate out of here in December. So that's a new cruise line coming in as well as the uh, P&O and Princess Group. Um, so there's more people knocking on the door and coming into our summer season now, we get a lot of cruise ships coming into Australia. And the reason for that is that they're not operating through Alaska. They're, up, they're bringing their ships down here, uh, they're on world cruises, people pick them up and then they go off to Asia or, or other destinations. So it's a great opportunity for tourist industry in Australia to uh, get benefits of those cruise ships. We found that uh, in Australia, um, they predicted by the year 2020 that there was the the figures were going to really double and that that's already happening so it is a massive growth business but there's other things to do other than cruising. <laughs> there, there is. Um, now Robert you also um, from time to time you run information nights for your, for your, um, for your clientele. Tell us a bit about them. Yes uh, we just did one last week. Uh, we do that, that down at the uh, local uh, sports club down here 
and the last one we did was uh, South America and Antarctic. Now, we brought in Alex from uh, South American Travel Centre. He's an expert, been in the industry for a long time, specialised in that part of, the, part of the world for the last 20 odd years. So he knew his stuff about each country, what to see about the culture, the food, uh, the history. Uh, if, depending on what your interests are, uh, you can spend a lot of time going through different countries. And now, with the opening of the doors with Cuba, yeah. Cuba's becoming a very popular destination for uh, people that would like to go there, a bit hesitant, uh, but now the doors are opening. So I think it'd be best to see Cuba as we see it now yes. to get in early because I think it will change with uh, companies moving in there and changing the, the old cars. I love to see those old cars yeah, and the painted buildings. It's, it's really exciting. Most definitely. Uh, Robert Adams, uh, owner of Caboolture Cruise and Travel. Um, if I had more money, mate, I'd be here every day booking a, booking a holiday. Uh, but you're a one-stop shop. Um, come in, see, see your stuff. Uh, the team, uh, you can get passport photos done, um, book the holiday, payments, etc. Um, you've got it all. <laughs> yes, uh, and we also give a lot of good advice. I mean, uh, it's not just about planning a holiday. You want advice when you come into a travel agency, and, and uh, the staff that I have. Uh, We've all been in the game a long time. We've all got a lot of experience and we're always uh, willing to help people and give them a good advice um, and that they don't get stuck somewhere. We, we put up a lot of travel information on our Facebook. It's just information about what's happening. I mean, people don't understand the 24-hour clock and when you're giving them an itinerary with that, they think, what time is 02.30? Well, it's 2.30 in the morning instead of 2.30 in the afternoon, <laughs> so you don't turn up at the wrong time. I uh, understand. And uh, you have a favourite saying, Robert, we might end on that, uh, but, but folks, if you're out there in the Caboolture community, uh, come and book your next holiday here at Caboolture Cruise and Travel, uh, Caboolture Park Shopping Centre on King Street. Um, you, you have a saying, mate. Um, can you, yes. Can, off the top I'll, of your I'll let you know. Without a travel agency, you're on your own. <laughs> There you go. So thanks for the interview and, um, and good luck with future business, Robert. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate the uh, time. Thank you.